Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss thermal energy as part of our types of energy series. Thermal energy is also known as heat energy. It is produced when the rise of temperature causes atoms and molecules to move faster and collide with each other. Wow, that's a long definition. Hopefully, after this video, you will be able to explain and understand thermal energy to your friends. What happens when you touch a hot pot on the stove? Ouch, you burn yourself because the particles are moving quickly, producing a lot of thermal energy. The opposite happens when the hot pot starts to cool off. The particles begin to move slower. Imagine making macaroni and cheese. What do you do first? You boil water, which produces heat or thermal energy. We interact with thermal energy every day, including when we cook, turn on the heater in the winter months, and the sun. Thermal energy is transferred from the sun to maintain life on Earth. Thermal energy works by transferring energy from a high temperature to another object with a lower energy. The particles begin to move faster as the object heats up. The movement of the particles is known as work. There are three different ways that thermal energy is transferred. Number one, when you warm up water on the stove, the thermal energy in the water cycles through the pot, which is known as convection. Number two, when we rub our hands together, it is called conduction. Number three, the last example is when we roast marshmallows over the open fire Thermal energy is transferred, which is known as radiation. So the three important terms for thermal energy is convection, conduction, and radiation. Think of these three examples when trying to remember the difference between these three important terms. Remember your lessons on states of matter. When you heat something up on the stove, it creates a gas. Gas particles spread out in all directions at great speeds. This is the characteristics of thermal energy. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Check out this quick video for a tip on remembering the types of energy and mechanical energy. Thank you very much.